Recent heavy rain is becoming a problem for our farmers. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Todd Coons. The striped rust disease has been thriving in many of our local wheat crops because of the daily rain. Eyewitness News reporter Dennis Valera is live in our Pocatello newsroom tonight. Dennis, I guess kind of a, too much of a good thing. Definitely, Todd. Now, it's no secret we needed the rain after the dry winter we had. Fortunately, there are steps we can take to prevent the fungus from infecting our crops. The wind disperses the spores, the rain deposits the spores on the plant surfaces, and then, of course, the moisture is, is critical for the infection process and spore germination. When stripe rust infects the wheat plant, spores start forming after 7 to 10 days. From there, it's easy for the fungus to circulate through a field of wheat. What makes the fungus dangerous is it dehydrates the wheat rapidly by taking its energy. Juliet Marshall with the University of Idaho Extension Service says continual spraying of fungicides helps prevent the disease from infecting your crops. She recommends a spraying every two weeks or until the crop starts flowering. A lot of our recommendations include spraying the fungicide at herbicide timing as a good protectant, and that's usually before the spores are really around and infecting our plants in this area of the, of the state. Marshall says it's efficient to spray both fungicide and herbicide at the same time. So far, stripe rust has surfaced in West and South Idaho, as well as Teton County. Live in the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Dennis Valera. All right, Dennis, thanks for making us aware of that. Uh, there is a type of striped rust that infects barley as well. Marshall says it hasn't surfaced yet, but they are keeping an eye on it.